Hi everyone. I just thought I'd bring some books downstairs that I'd like to share with you. I know Christmas is coming and you're looking for gifts for others and, and often too, sometimes it's not a bad thing to give yourself a gift. Get something you can enjoy. And I, I really want to share with you Graeme Sore Thomas. He was a he died about 10 years ago. This book I got in about 1970, the first edition I think I got in 1978. And in 1978, I was just, uh, I was an outdoor ed teacher. I had no idea I'd ever be a gardener. And I started growing perennials in 1970. And I didn't know, I didn't know a perennial from a doorknob. And this was one of the first books I got. And I just sat and I read this all winter. And when you see the beautiful descriptions of plants he has, there's like over a thousand perennials in this book. And it's not just the descriptions, it's the personal information, the quoting of other growers and other gardeners over the last uh, 50, 60 to 100 years in here. So you get other people's viewpoints on the plants and you can tie it in with your own viewpoints. So it's just a beautiful book to read. And he's such a good writer. He, he was just very, very good at expressing himself about garden plants and gardening. So I, I, I just thought I'd let you see and, and come to know this book. Another one I really like is an earlier book by Pete Outoff and Noel Kingsbury, Planting Design. And I love the gardens in time and space because it's a good reference point to change. And when you, when you read this book, you really get a good feeling for plant combinations and how plants live well together, even though it's just for the moment with a photo. It's about the continuation of the plants growing and maturing after they're done through this, through this period that's described in the book. And also language. There's beautiful language in here to capture the essence of what you would like to understand and come to know about plant combinations. And yet it's done in, in, in a way that's understandable and a good beginning to understanding your creation of more complexity, like the sense of scale. So this is, it's a very interesting book. And I, I don't mean interesting in a way that uh, I, I just want to say it to say it. It, it'll keep you interested, especially if you look at plants living in healthy relationships. Another one is Pete's, Pete's old book he redid with Hank Gerritsen, and I just enjoyed this book so much, it's Planting the Natural Garden. I like the new format, and it goes through Pete's favorite plants and Hank's favorite plants from A to Z. And there's plants in here you might be able to find that will fit in your style of planting, whether, whether that is planting perennials with vegetables, annuals, shrubs, native plants and non-native plants. You know, there's no end to the combination of plants we can make and the goals and objectives of all of you out there. But it's another wonderful book to, to learn and understand other, other, other people's perceptions of plants and how they are used together. And it's, it's just written well too, because it's, it's written simply, but yet it's simply well understood when after you read it. And then I love this book by Noel Kingsbury. I don't think, I don't know how many people have bought this, Seed Heads in the Garden. Noel put together this wonderful book, and it's all about seed heads. There's nothing in here in blue. Isn't that cool? It has a, in the back, it has a glossary of plants with special seed heads. So it's almost, uh, it's almost like a challenge. To try to design a garden based on seed heads and the decomposition of plants as they age into fall and through, and through late summer. Wouldn't it be cool? It's not all about coming up with bloom time and flower color. So it'll just be a different way for your mind to approach the creation of a garden. So I really think this is a good book. And, and again, it's just simple to read, but it's very enjoyable because it's, it's, it's different, much different than looking at flowers all the time. And I thought, well, why not share the book I wrote with all of you? I, I, I have to say I never dreamed as I was growing up, I'd ever write a book. But I think it was it was enhanced through the plants. As I came to understand and know more plants, I think it was, it was the plants saying, Roy, share with people how you've come to know us and how you understand our relationship. Because I've grown more than maybe 14 million perennials since 1978. And I picked out 72 plants that you'd have to make the effort to kill in the book. So you come to know them and they come to know you. It's kind of a, a, a shared relationship. And then I put them into patterns, kind of like a cookbook, where you can look at different patterns. You put the patterns in when they mature together, you can change them. You can introduce more yellow, more whatever you'd like to do. But by that time, you and the plants have created a relationship for yourself. So I just thought I'd go over that one, and I'm still excited it's in print. And I think seed heads in the garden, planting design, 
in Graham's short time is he's got a whole collection of books that are just wonderful to read and takes you into so many different areas of gardening. So anyway, thanks everybody. And uh, have a great Christmas too. And take care of yourselves and stay healthy. And we'll all talk to each other coming up soon about gardening. See you later. Bye.